engine stands, motor stands, whatever you want to call them. I'll show you an easier way to put them in. Let's get it started. Here's the original bolts right here. Now, they have two different, uh, two different heads on them. Sorry, two different nuts. Two different heads. Now, whether or not they changed that motor sometime in the past, I do not know. Did have the luck. Both of them did have the lock washers on them, though. Bought some new ones. They are uh, 3 8 by 16. You ever have extreme trouble getting these back in right without threading this through the back to where it looked hokey? Now, I'll admit, I have done that before. In fact, on my 67 Impala, I think I did it. This is how I'm doing it this time. I put the socket. Then I put the I put tape inside of the socket. I put the nut in there. And then I put the uh, lock washer on top of it, taped it down. And then I insert it from the inside, from over here, to where it fits right up underneath this thing. And then I thread this in. It's a lot easier. I mean, this one down here took me about 10 seconds. So I couldn't even think that. Now, these, these are harder up here. So let's see how it goes. All right. Got two of them in. And this is the hole I'm using to get the top two in. The bottom one. You can go through the bottom of the cross member here. And RC has got me the next one ready. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Get fall off. Mm -hmm. That's how it's done. This side over here is the big side on the driver's side, and then the smaller one is over here on the passenger side. The reason why we do this is to offset the big block just a little bit to where the steering, power steering box, this is a manual, but a power steering box will fit in here without hitting the block so once again smaller one goes on the passenger side bigger one goes on the driver's side so everything will not hit over here you need to thank the people that help you out with stuff rc helped me out with this today his knowledge and everything you know i thought i had it pretty well but his knowledge of uh taking tools and getting stuff done easier sure does uh, help you out a lot. So those people that help you, your parents, your dad, or whoever helps you in the shop, you know, thank them. They also help me with the unfreezing these suckers. I have a couple videos on how to do it um, by using um, white vinegar, but uh, there's other ways to do it. He helped me with that today as well. Thank you, RC. Thank you for watching, subscribing, commenting down below. And as always, if you're right or hard, don't put her away wet. One more thing. Let the people that work on your cars with you, let them know that you appreciate it.